hello. It's been a while since I've posted a show your work or a tutorial video, um, but I figured I'd share this one just because um, I know a bunch of people who are working in Google Sheets and Google Slides um, who want to kind of create some interesting visualizations. Uh, so I created this heat map in Google Sheets and then pasted it into Google Slides. Uh, it actually started off with me manually creating this heat map and I was like, this is crazy, why am I doing this? Um, I think I, I'm blaming the lack of sleep for not thinking ahead and be like, wait, I can just do this with, you know, a pivot table and just some formatting. Anyways, um, yeah, I'll uh, just kind of show it to you on the screen here and uh, let's get into it. Okay, so this is the heat map that we're going to build. As you can see, bigger numbers are darker blue, lighter numbers are lighter blue. So of course we're going to start off in sheets with our data. And this I have here is e-commerce data uh, for the types of devices that a store is selling by country and by brand and also by the type of device. So we're going to create a pivot table, country in the columns, and device brands in the rows. We'll have our value as the number of listed devices. Make sure that's set to sum and get rid of our grand totals at the end there. And now to add the color, we'll go to conditional formatting, color scale, and there's a couple of default modes that you can choose, uh, but we're gonna go with uh, custom color here. So we're gonna go with light blue and a slightly darker blue for the max color. And so that's pretty much it. And now everything I'm doing here is just sort of aesthetic formatting, uh, getting it to the way I like it before I post, uh, copy and paste it into slides. Um, just so, just because it's easier actually to make these updates in sheets rather than slides. So we're just gonna get rid of some of the coloring that comes default with the pivot table. We'll hide that by changing that to white. And then there's this sort of one last thing that's kind of particularly annoying. It's like this very kind of thick border at the bottom of this row here. So we'll get rid of it by changing it to white. So I think that looks a bit better. We gotta do that for this one here. So we're just gonna do the same thing there. Let's change that to white so it matches. And so there's something I noticed that really irks me. It's like these boxes here don't quite line up. So let's just zoom in and take a look at that. I don't know if you can see it, but that gray one sticks out a bit more than the blue one. So to fix that, we're actually just gonna make the left border of this gray box here white as well. And then now it looks like it's flush with the rest of it. So we'll just copy in this, Control C, Command C if you're on a Mac. Head into slides and we'll just create a new slide here just so you can see how it looks like pasting in. Make sure we're linking it to spreadsheet and hit paste. That way we can uh, update this table if the data changes in the sheet. I'm just going to bring over some of these Axie titles here, clean it up. Uh, this is obviously all personal preference and depending on how you want it to look and that sort of thing. Make some slight adjustments there. All right. So these country names are really annoying me. So I'm actually just going to go in and give them the full names. And that's pretty much done, except I've decided that one of the data points isn't quite right. This actually should be six instead of three, which is fine. We go into pivot table and it updates uh, the total accordingly. And then even if we can go into slides, we can also hit update and we'll see that 10 in that square becomes 13. The problem is these have all reverted back to their short forms. So what we're going to do to fix that is actually just to create a new column in our original data. I'm going to call it country full, just for the full name of the country. And we'll just fill that in. I'm going to keep US and, and the UK the same, uh, but give all the other countries 
their full names. So now if we go back to the pivot table, we can get rid of the short form country in the columns and then add our full name countries for the columns, get rid of the totals there again. Now you can see up top, and in here it is the full names of the countries, which is great. So every time we update, uh, we're going to get you know, a clean, updatable heat map uh, that's not going to change or look funny or anything like that. All right, so that's heat maps using Google Sheets and Google Slides. Hopefully that was useful for you. Um, I think maybe if you're a bit newer to using Google Sheets and Google Slides, um, that might be something that you haven't seen before or thought about doing, but haven't really figured out how. Anyway, uh, hopefully I'll have more tutorials coming up. Um, I've been working on figuring out how to use R and kind of doing a bunch of day analysis with R and creating pretty nice visuals, I think. I don't know. We'll see. Um, from from those data analyses. So anyways, hopefully I'll see you soon in a new tutorial. Um, if not, uh, just see you later.